Okay, hello everyone. This is my recap for day nine, I think. So, um, so yesterday we went to this place called 798 Art Zone. I put a video of it, and it's basically a place for art galleries and modern Chinese art. It's nothing too ancient. Um, it kind of, it's like in this old factory. It kind of reminded me of like places in California, but I don't know how, I don't know how to explain that. It just had that feel, but I used to get that feel anywhere that was industrialized by factories at some point. But yeah, it, it kind of seemed like a place where like the hipsters of China go to look at art and purchase art. There's a lot of galleries there. They're not necessarily museums, they're galleries, so you're allowed to buy the art, I guess, for large amounts of money. Um, so yeah, check out that video if you want, but right now I'm going to talk about um, my experience so far with like the directness of the Chinese people from what I've observed. I'm not saying this is the case for all Chinese, but um, so um, yesterday I was with my language partner in the bus and then I was practicing Chinese and then I said something about something and then they asked me, I was like, oh, is it because you're so fat? So normally in America, it would be taboo for someone to directly say that you're fat in like the context that it was in. But in China, they don't mean it in like an offensive way. They mean it as a scientific fact when they say it. They don't filter out stuff that would be considered potentially to be offensive. So when my language partner says, oh, is it because you're fat? She literally means that scientifically I am a fat person. And no, probably no way, she, no, she did not mean to offend me in any way, but in the United States, if someone said that, it would possibly be taken in a more offensive way. Now, you can see this in many aspects of Chinese society. If you ever come here, the people in general are more direct about what they observe. It's a very, I don't, I'm not saying this is the case for everyone, but so far I've observed it's a very superficial society. Um, how you look on the outside is very important. Um, if you read an article, there's an article about Chinese students coming to America and hiring people to take tests in class for them. Um, the article talks about that being it's because they want they, they want the American degree from the university because that is going to look good in society. Uh, I assume this is the case for everyone, but what people say is that, I'm, and I'm not making this up, this is what other people have said, is that people, like the Chinese, they they care more about the end than the means. So if it's okay, if they can cheat and get a degree from Harvard and look good having a degree from Harvard, say, um, then that's justifiable by the Chinese culture, I guess. Something that would be taboo in America, so that's just another cultural difference. So if you ever come to China, just be, just know that it is potentially a superficial society. I'm not saying that the whole society is superficial or that you will have that experience. I'm just saying that there is a possibility based on the experience that others have had. So, yeah, that was my recap for today. I saw that my first plum yesterday. There's a video of that too if you haven't seen it. Very interesting. Lots of exciting new things to try here. Well, I could try that in the United States too, but I just haven't, so. Yeah, so look out for more videos of me trying new things. Um, I'm hoping these videos will inspire people to try to study abroad one day, because I feel that studying abroad is extremely important after just being here for nine, 10 days so far. So, I'll probably upload a video later tonight by my standards, but it'll probably be more towards the morning in the United States, so look out for that. Peace.